Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Taylor Houseton and in this video I'll be going over how to create a quote inspirational motivational coloring book interior for Amazon KDP. I am super excited for this video because I was really struggling on how to create these and I feel like I found a way that is pretty simple to do and it's also using free tools. So if you're not looking to spend any money and you just want to test out making coloring book interiors and you don't want to pay for it then definitely watch this video because I'll be showing you how to do that using free websites and resources that are available, at least as of the time that I'm making this video. Before we get started, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. I also would love it if you guys could comment any suggestions, tips, feedback, anything like that. I greatly appreciate all the support. It really, really helps me out and you guys are awesome. So all right, let's get started. So in case you're not really sure what an inspirational quote coloring book sort of is, I just went to Amazon and looked up positive affirmations coloring book in the search bar. And this will just give you an idea of kind of what we're looking to create. I will not be doing a cover in this video, but I will be showing you how to do the interior. So these are just what some of the books look like. Um, this is a very popular niche right now, and some of them do sell very well. So it's definitely something to look into. To give you an idea on the inside, I also opened up a new tab and already selected one of the more popular books to show you. So there's some fun designs going on and then some sort of quote or phrase or saying in the middle. Like this one says, believe in yourself. Um, so this is sort of what I'll be showing you how to create today. So if this is what you're looking to do, then you're definitely watching the right video. Before we keep going, please don't forget to make sure that you are following up on all of the trademark laws and everything. I am not an expert in this, but this website seems to be pretty useful. So if you're unsure about something, I will have the link to this in the description below, along with a ton of other resources. So um, definitely check it out. Just make sure that you're following all the rules, that you're not going against any sort of trademarks. You definitely don't want to risk having your KDP account shut down. So highly recommend doing some research on this, especially if you're doing quotes, inspiration, motivational stuff like that. You'll be surprised what is already trademarked. Next, in case you are unsure what size to do your KDP cover, uh, KDP does have a cover calculator. I'll also have the link to that below. And you just fill in the information, and then when you scroll down, it'll say calculate dimensions. And it will tell you exactly what size to do your KDP book cover, which will be super helpful, especially with Canva. So moving on to actually creating the interior for your coloring book. So I'll be using Canva for this. You do not need the pro version. You can be using the free version. I'm currently using the pro version here. They do have a free trial, so if you're unsure about it, if you want to spend the money, then definitely check that out. I'm not sure if they always have the free trial, but they have it right now. So you're going to want to go on the top right hand corner to create a design, custom size. And then this is kind of up to you and what you want to do. Some people do eight and a half by 11 and then they figure out the margins themselves. Um, personally, I'll be doing the eight and a half by 11, but I'm going to include bleed. Um, I just like that better. So I'll be doing an 8.625 by 11.25 inches. KDP also has a chart that shows all the different measurements for things like this, if you're unsure about that as well. Um, you can just Google that, or it should be on the KDP page somewhere in the resources. Um, but I'll be doing an 8.5 by 11 coloring book with bleed. So I'm going to be choosing this size. And it's going to open up a blank page. And just give it a minute to load. Um, up if you're new to Canva on the top bar here you're able to name your design whatever you want to it's always good to keep track and stay organized especially if you end up making a lot of books it's a bit harder to stay organized if everything is labeled the same thing so I'll just do a coloring book example perfect so first things first just head on over to elements on the left hand side you can search anything here from Canva so I'm going to search adult coloring book. If you have the pro version, this, in my opinion, is probably one of the better ways to go. As you can see, all of these designs come up. So I'll just click on this one to use as an example. And you can just make it bigger, open it up to be, fit the entire page. 
and this is a perfect background but as you can see these have the pro symbols here and I did tell you guys you could do this free so I'm going to show you how you can do it free so I'm just going to delete that you can search for pretty much anything and you can just do like outline or design if I type in mandala there are a ton of free ones that show up um, I think if I do flower background then some other things might show up like these this is a super cute one um, this is again for the pro but there are some free ones here let me try this one instead so I make sure I'm doing it freely so this one does have some color I'm gonna try to change it and see if it really makes it look that bad no nope. so I just change it to white and this is perfectly fine for the purpose of this video Again, this is also a pro one. I apologize, guys. Goodness, I'm a mess. Let's go with this one. This one's free, but as you can see, like I've already gone through multiple images, and there are so many possibilities with Canva. So here we go. This is using a free photo, and if you're not using the pro version, you'll just have to search a bit more. You can probably use some of the colored images. Sometimes it gives you the option to change the colors up here. So there's definitely tons and tons of options. Um, next, you're going to want to go to text and just click whichever one you want to add. I'm going to do add a heading and I'm just going to type I am super awesome in all caps. <laughs> and obviously, like, you need to figure out how to get this in a way that people can color it because just putting it like this isn't really going to be useful. So I'm going to click on it and I'm going to change the font first because I don't like that font for coloring. Um, let's do this one. Perfect. I like that so much better. I'm just going to space this out a bit so that way they're not all on the same line. Perfect. And now I'm going to go to effects. And now you can do this a couple different ways. So one way to do the text is to use hollow and it will show up like this. And obviously you can't really color it like that either, but what you could do is go to elements and you could look for a circle, which it might just be on your front page or you can just search it in the bar and you can click on the circle. You can change the color to white and put it in the middle or wherever and you could just do it like that. So that's one way to go about this. Um, if you don't wanna do that though, you don't want a circle, you just want the image as is, then you can go back to effects and you can hit splice instead can make it all the way thick or however you want offset zero I'm going to make this bigger so you guys can see it better and if someone was coloring I'd want it to be bigger anyways you can change the color to white so now you can see that it it's definitely clear the white makes it stick out with the black outline and anybody could definitely color this as a coloring page so that is a super, super simple way to do it. I'm going to show you another resource to get free backgrounds. As I know, the free backgrounds in Canva aren't as many as the pro version, obviously. But again, I highly recommend doing the free trial. I believe it's for 30 days. You can go to pizzabay.com and type in adult coloring book or anything you want to. And they have a bunch of different options too. And these are free as well. You can just download these to your computer and then upload them in Canva and use them as a background. So there's plenty of options to do this for free. You don't need to use the pro version. Um, obviously, you have a lot more like leeway with the pro version. You have so many more options. Just make sure when you click on an image that you have free for commercial use. Um, this says no attribution required. So you could just download this, add it onto your coloring book, and you would be good to go. And after you download it, you just go to Uploads, and then you would upload it and then just click it and it would appear into your document here. So these can definitely be simple to make. I am so happy I got to do this tutorial today. This has been a really great experience for me and I just finished my first Positive Affirmations coloring book. I think I might go ahead and edit it a little bit though. I'm not super happy with how it came out, um, but that this business is all about learning. So I really hope that this was helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. Um, I, I truly appreciate all the support so much. Please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and feel free to comment any suggestions, feedback, 
or tips or really anything that you want to share, I do my best to get back to all of the comments that I can. And don't forget to check out all of the resources that I'll have in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.